Hey guys, long time no see. Fragrant Prep back here with a top 10 summer 2022 fragrance list. I don't want to promise that I'll be back. Um, I had a few requests to come back and I appreciate those. I just don't know if I have the time for it, but we will see. I do enjoy making videos. I do enjoy smelling fragrances. I mean, heck, I'm still smelling like 50, 60 new fragrances a month. Um, so I'm still doing all this behind the scenes. I just haven't been making videos about it. So without further ado, I own seven of these fragrances. Probably gonna buy one of them and the other two just aren't bottle worthy right now for me. And those are number nine and number 10. So number 10 is Creed's Arolfa. I'm not gonna go super in depth on any of this because y'all have already heard most of these fragrances from other reviewers, other people in the fragrance community. Arolfa has a very nice ambergris, sort of a little bit citrusy, a little bit marine, a little bit aquatic um, Creed DNA. It's nothing too, too special. It's just really good. <laughs> Really good on a boat. I noticed when I was on a boat tour a few months ago and Arofa really hit. Number nine is Zeste de Genre by Healy. So it's an orange and ginger fragrance, but it gives me like a Sprite vibe. It's pretty zingy, kind of metallic, super good. Proje projection's kind of insane. You know, I usually go five sprays of this and it's lasting all day projecting, you know, at an arm's length and getting compliments or whatever. It's nice, good stuff. Number eight, I do own. And this is gonna be a hot take for a lot of people. Um, I think this is better than the Creed that it's commonly, uh, you know, compared to. And this is gonna be Davidoff's Cool Water EDT. Incredible. I, I don't know, you know, <laughs> what else to say with this. Y'all have heard this covered a million times, whether it's this, uh, Royal Crown's Rain, the Armoth clone, it just, horrible it's a horrible horrible clone um i don't i don't really rock with clones much but this is it's really good y'all know the fragrance it's down off cool water so number seven is a fragrance i'm probably gonna buy i i want to buy i like buying fragrances in person i don't like buying online i've just been trying to find it places um it's vacation by Arquise slash vacation different websites list it differently is who the house is but i believe Arquise made it um this is a lot like the next fragrance. I'll go more into the next fragrance because I have more experience with the next fragrance. Um, but it's sort of like a banana suntan lotion, sort of vibe like banana boat. It's really it's not too inter it's not too interesting or anything. It's just really good for summer. And the price six, sixty bucks for an ounce is insane. Super good. So the next fragrance, which is very similar to Vacation, but serves a different purpose, which is why I want to talk about this one a little more is Vanilla Vibes by Julia Has a Gun. So this is, I mean, what it says is Vanilla Vibes. It's a kind of suntan lotion-y vanilla fragrance. Um, easy to wear in high heat, easy to wear in like 70 to like 95 Fahrenheit. Um, it's my go-to. I go really heavy with this and just let it lift off all day. It's good sillage, not crazy, which is why I can apply heavy, uh, heavy amounts of this and it's not too bad. I think this is easily the best of the house. Um, I actually think Julia has a gun. It's one of the better houses you can get like a store like Sephora or something. It, there's a lot of detractors to it. A lot of people aren't big on it, but I think JHAG is great. So the next fragrance, and I own everything else on this list. Number five, it's gonna be Virgin Island Water by Creed. It's Coca and Lime Heaven. <laughs> what else can I say? I pretty much only wear this at the beach, you know. I, I do go to the beach quite often, as you can see there. <laughs> I'm pretty deep on this. It's it's been talked about a million times. I, I, I feel I feel just going over about it for three minutes is redundant. <laughs> I feel like in a lot of videos, people are just a little redundant. But Virgil is great. What can what else can I say about it? Coconut lime. Um, if you've ever had, I believe there's a Bacardi seltzers but they have like a coconut lime one it smells exactly like that it's perfect love it so number four another creed we're gonna go millisim imperial is it a salty watermelon kind of not really <laughs> i mean it's a salty fruity marine fragrance with a very very nice iris uh, this has a very very big iris note off my skin I'm just not sure if it's my bottle, but people don't really talk about Iris a lot when talking about this fragrance, and for me, it's such a big player. Um, I almost wish the Iris wasn't so loud, but it works. It still works really well. It's one of my girlfriend's favorite fragrances that I own in my entire collection, and 
Well, it's number four on my list, so I guess it's one of mine too. Number three is going to be, this is an absolute classic here, modern classic, Solitude Green Mango by Stranger's Perfumery. It's Prinz, Prinz, I wouldn't call it, you know, his budget brand, but it's definitely his least expensive house on everything he has, like Prasanna and Prin Parfum and all that. I also think this is the best fragrance he's ever made. It is what it says, you know, it's a salted green mango. <laughs> It's a little, there's a little bit of funk in this that I really like. Um, it keep, it makes it interesting. You know, it's very, very realistic. I have gone through an obscene amount of this fragrance in the year I've had it. Um, ah, it's been a little over a year now, but it's good stuff. It's Prin's a master at what he does. You know, I, the, the, the detractor to Prin is he has like a few DNAs that he kind of bases everything off of. At least it seems like that as a consumer. Um, and I think for his like summery, salty, whatever, DNA, this is his best. And the top two are surprisingly designer fragrances. You know, I've, my collection is primarily niche in indie, um, but these two summer designers just really knocked out of the park. High heat staple, number two, Dior M. Cologne. <laughs> lemonade, man. Ice lemonade must. Coquel. What else can I say? I've only had this for, I want to say like six weeks and I already made a pretty big dent in that. It's incredible. What can I say? It is unreal. I wear this almost every day to some extent. Like I'm gonna go a spray or two before bed, spray or two and I get up just to give me that early morning boost of my coffee. It's sick. Number one, this is also a semi-recent pickup for me. I didn't like this fragrance when I first tried it. I thought it was mid, really mid. I thought this whole line was mid um, when I first tried it, but what can I say? It really grew on me. This is, in my mind, the final boss of your fierces, um, of your Mont Blanc legends, of all those like fragrances that are hyped up as like mall fragrances. I think this is by far the best. Um, this is Allurum Sport by Chanel. And not to call this a mall fragrance, it just fulfills a similar niche sort of reason to wear that uh, those fragrances do. It's like vanilla, it's a marine, there's a lot of orange in here. It's like a creamy orange fragrance, essentially, um, with a lot of different citruses, a lot of different, just different facets that make it really interesting. Uh, I didn't look up any notes before reading this video. Um, I'm just going off off the dome, you know, trying to get something out, but it's it's really good. It easily dresses down. You know, I wear this at least twice a week, honestly, and I'm dressed like this <laughs> most of the time, but. That is my top 10 list. Um, I might do an updated collection video. I recently picked up like, three Zerjok fragrances, um, as well as some more niche indie. We'll see though. I'll have reviews coming out soon. I want to start doing like minute long reviews, I mean minute and a half long reviews of just everything I've smelled, everything I have notes on. It's a little over 2,300 fragrances at this point, so I don't know like how I'm going to do that. I have notes on everything now. Um, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.